What's up everyone, welcome back to yet another video on SAMS AWS learning series. Aurora and DMS, these are the topics which we are going to cover today. AWS Aurora, it's an RDS database offering from Amazon and it's a MySQL compatible RDS engine that combines the speed and reliability of high-end commercial databases within, with the simplicity and cost effectiveness of an open source database. So this offers, you know, complex features, something similar to, you know, Oracle database uh, offers. And, uh, but, you know, it's not that complex, it's simple. You can, you know, uh, use the features available in the RDS console, Amazon console, and easily manage an Aurora instance. Amazon Aurora is a drop-in replacement for MySQL and makes it simple and cost-effective to set up, operate, scale your new and existing MySQL deployments, thus uh, freeing you to focus on your business and uh, applications. So most of the, you know, um, in my organization, the, the organization I work with, most of the, you know, databases, uh, they use MySQL due to, you know, cost concerns and, you know, simplicity, ease of, you know, operation and other stuff. And the, there comes this uh, part i mean we were kind of you know forced to look for alternative database offerings and uh, aws aurora was the very first one uh, and we used you know uh, dms and um, we have migrated the entire database into aurora which was you know relatively uh, simple we even managed to do it within a day entire databases was you know moved within a day and it was you know kind of great i mean we were having this uh, additional features multi az deployment uh, you know fail proof or uh, self healing uh, databases and you know we are kind of happy that we did uh, move into you know aurora amazon rds provides administration for amazon aurora by handling routine database tasks like provisioning patching backup recovery failure detection and uh, repair Amazon RDS also provides push button migration tools to convert your existing Amazon RDS for MySQL application to Amazon Aurora. So that's the beauty uh, and uh, you know maintaining a database it can be complex. Uh, you have to have you know a great uh, set of you know resources, you have to have enough time, you have to you know find a uh, patching window, you have to you know think about patching, you have to you know think about uh, improving the database, tuning the database to improve the you know performance. So those kind of things, uh, everything is you know um, available within a few clicks. Uh, if, you, if you log into you know Amazon console, Amazon RDS console, it will manage all those things for you, provisioning, uh, patching, backup, recovery, failure detection and repair. You don't have to you know focus uh, all your you know resources and attention on these kind of tasks you know how complex can uh, this backup recovery operations can be so these things uh, you don't need to worry about uh, them all you can do is you know worry about the database uh, and maintain it that's it here are the features of some features of aurora um, when you create uh, uh, an aurora instance it creates primary instance and aurora replica primary uh, instance it supports read and write workloads and performs all of the data modifications to cluster volume each aurora db cluster has one primary instance and then we have aurora replica it supports only read uh, operation it is essentially it's a you know replica of your primary instance and uh, this is here to you know um, act as the replica of the original database each db cluster can have up to 15 aurora replicas in addition to the primary instance which supports both read and write uh, workloads again that's an important point to remember 15 aurora replicas are supported so it means you can have your primary instance and uh, you know parallelly you can have this many read uh, replicas multiple aurora replicas distribute uh, the read workload and by locating Aurora replicas in separate availability zones, you can also increase database availability. So it, uh, the, the main thing is the performance, right? Um, you don't want uh, concurrent, uh, uh, you know, connections made to the primary instance, thus by, you know, loading it up so heavily and uh, it will, you know, take a hit on the performance, right? So you can, you know, opt for this uh, Aurora replica, um, maybe, you know, a couple of them, you can distribute it, uh, uh, you know, in different availability zones. 
maybe you know that will ease up the load right i mean your user base if it is from all over the globe and uh, you want to you know place read replicas in uh, different uh, availability zones that's a great improvement right i mean that that's called as well architected uh, uh, you know database so you can have this dist distributed you know approach for uh, placing the read replicas so the users the user community can read from the read replicas and your primary instance it will be you know still uh, uh, healthy the performance will not you know take any hit it will be you know performing great so that's the use case typical use case uh, if you wanted to you know uh, think of aurora and then it supports you know push button uh, compute scaling uh, it has this storage auto scaling uh, what i mean by storage auto scaling is this it will scale up in increments of 10 gb and uh, it will you know go till 64 uh, TB and it's, it's a great thing right you don't have to worry about uh, increasing or uh, you know yeah thinking about uh, capacity management Amazon will take care of it automatically up to 64 TB Amazon does this instance monitoring and repair so it, it constantly you know scans your uh, instance uh, the data blocks and uh, if it identifies any sort of issues it tries to you know repair it and uh, your data will be you know um, kept uh, intact and then we have fault tolerant and self healing storage uh, each uh, you know 10 gb chunks of your data volume is replicated six ways across three availability zones means uh, you know six uh, copies of your data will be available uh, within you know three availability zones uh, with you know two copies in it uh, so you don't have to worry about the uh, security of the data uh, you don't have to you know worry about the availability of the data it will be available since it is you know distributed in six ways across three availability zones automatic continuous incremental backups and point in time restore is possible so you don't have to worry about uh, recovery of the database uh, you don't have to you know think too much on the you know backup policies you have so those things are you know quite simple and then we have fault tolerant and self healing uh, storage which i've already discussed uh, you know amazon will monitor the instance and uh, if it you know finds any sort of you know uh, issues or inconsistency with the data it tries to you know repair it and uh, self healing uh, uh, you know feature is available and then dms dms is a database migration service from uh, aws and as the name says you know it will help you to migrate databases to aws easily and securely and just to make you understand about uh, the complex nature of the database migration it it used to you know take uh, days i mean i'm talking about the corporate setup organizations having huge you know database uh, uh, and they wanted to you know move into a different uh, solution there uh, there is this uh, you know a huge uh, resource base is must you have to you know plan well and advance in advance you have to you know uh, ensure there is a downtime and uh, which will you know cover the entire uh, uh, migration operation it might even you know take up to weeks uh, depending upon the you know uh, factors like you know database size uh, uh, the you know source database the destination database and uh, the integrations uh, between your application front end and the database things like that so i mean what i wanted to tell you is it's a complex activity but with dms it is you know uh, again simplified uh, the source database remains fully operational during the migration minimizing downtime to applications that uh, rely on the databases the aws database migration service can migrate your data to and from most widely used commercial and open source databases i've witnessed uh, you know dms in action uh, we used to you know migrate all the mysql based databases into amazon aurora and a couple of things like you know uh, typical oracle databases we have migrated into aws uh, oracle instances as well and I've seen this, uh, you know, when it comes to, you know, different source database and, uh, you know, different uh, destination database from, you know, Amazon, uh, you know, there comes this thing, right? I mean, the data should be compatible. Uh, so it, it involves, you know, things like, you know, schema conversion and things like that. We used to do it manually. 
uh, when it comes to a you no know, conventional uh, database migration but with dms most of them i've, I've seen this 99 percentage uh, uh, yeah you can even say that 99 percentage the database uh, schema conversions it's taken care by uh, amazon itself and yeah there are few things which it finds you know i mean wherever it finds conflicts or it cannot do it it will you know mark them for your manual conversion so you don't have to worry about it uh, i just wanted to tell you that as well yeah the service supports a homogeneous migration such as oracle to oracle uh, conventional oracle database to you know amazon's uh, rds oracle as well as heterogeneous migrations between different database platforms such as oracle to amazon aurora or microsoft uh, sql server to mysql it also allows you to stream data to Amazon Redshift, Amazon DynamoDB, Amazon S3 from any of the supported sources including Amazon Aurora, PostgreSQL, MySQL, MariaDB, Oracle, SAP AC, SQL Server and MongoDB enabling consolidation and easy analysis of data in petabyte scale data warehouse. AWS database migration service can also be used for continuous data replication with high availability. These are some of the features of DMS. It's very, you know, simple to use, minimal downtime. So that, that's something to, you know, focus. You don't want your, you know, application to take the hit, right? Just because you are, you know, performing this uh, database migration. And again, uh, it's not a, you know, simple activity, right? A database migration, it will have, uh, you know, huge impacts if something goes wrong because all your data is stored in the database and uh, you don't want to, you know, have such a situation. So minimal downtime, means you know application will be you know up and running yeah, means you have a you know happy uh, customer base or community of uh, users and uh, it supports most widely used databases it's reliable fast and easy to set up uh, and, and you know with migration you have uh, so many things to worry about but that's not the case with dms the cost is also low uh, most of the things activities such as you know schema conversion uh, low uh, or minimal downtime those things uh, it will be you know provided or it will be available if you are planning to have the migration happening with uh, dms from aws and that being said thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you in the next video